If you're someone who struggles with high ping or packet loss, I'm going to be teaching you guys everything you need to know to fix them in today's video. The first thing you're going to want to do before we get into any optimizations of your PC is going to your search bar, typing in create a restore point. Once you see this, you're going to want to click create and for the sake of the video, just name it fix packet loss. Once this is created, if at any point you don't like any of the changes we've done or something goes wrong, you can go back to this restore point, which is basically just a save point from before we started the optimization. So the first method to optimize your ping is by using exit lag. If you've ever had any internet troubles, lost packets, or have high ping, exit lag offers a solution to all of that through key features like their AI route optimization, which automatically optimizes the perfect routes for your packets to give you the lowest latency possible. And their dynamic stabilizer, which routes your packets through up to four different paths simultaneously. I know this sounds great, so here's how you can do it for yourself. Click the link in the description description, sign up on their website. Once you've done this, you can press download. Once you open up exit like head to the library section and you'll notice they support thousands of different games. But if you want to use it on Valorant specifically, go ahead and type in Valorant and then click on it. From here, you can simply click apply routes and it'll start to work right away. But what I like to do is manually set the server to whatever server I'm queuing. Here's my ping to Texas before exit lag and here it is after. So if you want to try exit lag out, make sure to check out the link in the description. They're even running an exclusive offer for their annual plan in honor of exit lag's birthday right now, where if you buy six months you get six months free for a limited time and thank you to exit lag for sponsoring today's video now let's continue with the optimizations now for more optimizations inside of valorant head to your settings under the general tab find the network buffering setting if you have a lot of packet loss or ping spike changes set this to maximum and if you only have a small amount of this change it to moderate this will give you a smoother gameplay experience after that you're going to want to head to video and then graphics quality here you're going to want to turn off vsync this basically will lock the game's frame rate to your monitor's frame rate so if you're on a 60 hertz monitor for example it could feel like you're lagging when you really are the next thing i like to do is open up google chrome head to settings and go to the system tab next you're going to want to turn off hardware acceleration and turn off continue running background apps while chrome is closed sometimes chrome will run things in the background and cause you to lag when you don't even realize it's not even open after that head to the search bar and type in background apps you can either turn off every background app at once off or go through them individually but i'd recommend just turning them all off since they can eat up your bandwidth and sometimes they'll even an update without you realizing something else that's easy to overlook is going to your task manager turning off any startup apps you might not want running all the time this can help you save a ton of performance and while we're in the task manager make sure to launch valorant once valorant's open click on details scroll all the way down to the bottom right click on valorant win 64 shipping set its priority to high do the same thing with valorant.exe another thing is going to the bottom right of your desktop clicking this little carrot and you can end any programs here that may be eating up some extra performance as well after that go to your your search bar again and type in allow an app through firewall open this up and once you get here you're going to want to click change settings and then allow another app and then click on the browse button head to your local disk click riot games click valorant then double click on riot client services and simply click add once you're done that we're going to go back to the search bar and this type in run in the run bar type in services.msc open this up and you can go full screen in it and then scroll down until you find windows update once you found it right click on it and click properties find startup type here and set this to disable this will make it so you won't get any type of windows updates while you're playing valorant which could lead to some lag after that head back to the search bar and type in command prompt make sure you run this in administrator and once you're here type in ping 1.1.1.1 this will show you a bunch of data but most importantly it's going to show you the minimum maximum and average ping to the server after that type in ping 8.8.8.8 and as you can see my ping to 8.8.8.8 is higher than my ping to 1.1.1.1 your pings will be different than mine, so make sure to keep these numbers in mind and remember which one of these has the lower ping for you and we'll move on to the next section. Now right click on the network in the bottom right and open up your network and internet settings. Once this is open, click on ethernet, go to change adapter options. You'll see your ethernet right here, so right click on it, click properties. Then in this menu, you're going to click internet protocol version 4, which stands for IPv4. Open up the properties for this. You're going to want to change the obtain DNS server automatically to use the following DNS server address. Address. This is where remembering which one of those pings was lower is going to be needed. If your ping was lower to 1.1.1.1, you're going to type into the preferred DNS server 1.1.1.1 and then alternate DNS server type in 1001. If you pinged better to 8.8.8.8 instead, you're going to want to type in preferred DNS server 8.8.8.8 and in alternative DNS server 8.8.4.4. Once you've input the better one, make sure to press OK. This should help fix 
26 routing issues you might have so make sure to give this one a try and for the next tip you're going to want to go to the search bar type in device manager from here go to network adapters you'll see realtek gaming family controller adapter right click on this one head to properties and then you'll want to check the driver tab and press update driver just in case yours might be out of date because as you can see mine hasn't been updated since 2021 on this computer and this could be messing up your performance after that head over to the advanced tab and find advanced e.e.e .e .e and set this value to disabled after that find energy efficient ethernet make sure this is set to disabled then find green ethernet and you're going to want to disable this one as well after that you're going to want to scroll down until you find power saving mode make sure to disable this setting as well and then finally scroll down to the bottom and you're going to disable wake on magic packet wake on magic packet system and wake on pattern match all three of these are important to disable in my opinion after that head to the power management tab make sure both of these options in the power management tab are unchecked and then head to google type in tcp optimizer i'm going to try to link this one in the description for you guys but once you're here you're going to want to install tcp optimizer 4. next open up tcp optimizer in administrator make sure your current network adapter is selected here Turn your connection speed all the way up to 100 plus megabytes per second. After that, head to the advanced settings tab and go to the bottom right and click custom. This will let us change all of the settings here. For maximum connections per one server, we're going to want to change this to 10. For maximum connections per server, we're going to want to change this to 10 as well. For local priority, set this one to 4. Host priority, set this to 5. DNS priority, set this one to 6. And net BT priority, we're going to set this to 7. Next, for max SYN retransmissions, we're going to set it to 2. And then just double check to make sure non-SAC resiliency is disabled. Next, change your initial RTO to 2000 and keep min RTO at 300. And then set QoS non-best effort limit. We're going to leave it blank. And for do not use NLA, we'll set this to optimal. Next, we're going to want to make sure network throttling index is disabled and make sure system responsiveness is set to gaming. For TCP ACP frequency, we're going to set it to disabled 1. TCP no delay, we're setting it to enable one tcp delete act ticks we're going to set it to disabled zero in network memory allocation we're going to set it to large system cache to default zero and for size we're going to set this to default one under dynamic port allocation we're going to set this to max user port to 65534 and tcp timed wait delay set this to 32. once you've done all this make sure to click apply changes and you should be good to go next i just want to talk about how important it is to have an ethernet connection so if you're playing on wi-fi and you're constantly having internet issues where you're lagging or getting packet loss switch to an ethernet cord it should fix a ton of your problems and one last final tip that's important to remember when it comes to lagging or crashing is to have your nvidia graphics cards updated you can do this through either geforce experience or radeon software if you have an amd card i try to update these every few months so i can keep it up to date and if any of these tips helped you out let me know in the comments and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe